All right, so twin flames. Oh, Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Okay, <laughs> there's, I don't even know where to start. We're going to start somewhere. I want to start this off, this whole thing, by saying I believe in twin flames. As a matter of fact, I have met my own. So I'm not here to talk about, you know, to say that, oops, sorry, I'm not here to say that twin flames, uh, you know, aren't real, aren't this, aren't that. No, no, no. Um, I wholeheartedly believe in twin flames. Like I said, I've met my own. I'll get into that in a second. But I feel like um, the story around twin flames and uh, the way that it's being pitched to people, and I'm not going to lie, I'm going to keep it 100. A lot of these readers, man, a lot of these tarot readers on the YouTubes, uh, I feel like are really playing into this twin flame thing just a little bit too much. And I think that um, a lot of y'all, you know, a lot of people listening to it are using twin flames, the label, as a reason to stay in these toxic ass relationships with toxic and abusive men who are not your twin flames. Okay. <laughs> there, I said it. That's just how I feel. Um that's just really how I, how I feel. So I found an article on, let me pull it up. Hold on a second. So I found this article. It is uh, from MBG Relationships and it's written by Sarah Regan. I hope I'm saying this woman's name right because uh, me, I butcher people's names all the time. So pretty sure it's Sarah Regan. I'm not going to read the whole thing because uh, no, but I'm just going to go through a bit of it. So for example, like I'm just going to, so what is a twin flame? Sarah says, a twin flame is an intense soul connection with someone thought to be a person's other half, sometimes called a mirror soul. It's based on the idea that sometimes one soul gets split into two bodies. One of the main characteristics of a twin flame relationship is that it will be both challenging and healing. This is due to the mirroring nature of a twin flame. They show you your deepest insecurities, fears, and shadows but they also help you to overcome them and vice versa. Your twin flame will be equally affected by you. Importantly, each person is still whole on their own, says licensed psychotherapist Babita Spinelli. Oh, God. Hope I said that right. Um, there is a narrative that a twin flame completes you, she explains. In reality, relationships are meant to encourage you to be more complete in your own right. So I found this definition to be spot on, in my personal opinion. Um, I found it to be a really good definition of what a twin flame is. Now. Now, now, now. Um, you know, I'd be in the comments. I'd be looking at the I don't be in the comments commenting, but I, I look through, through comments, man. I look through comments on YouTube. I look through comments on Instagram. And some of the stories, man, like the thesis papers that a lot of women are writing, women, women, women are writing out about these so-called twin, twin flame journeys they're experiencing. And these thesis papers are riddled in abuse, like heavy abuse, man, riddled in like heavy toxicity. And I'm like, yo, what's, what, what, oh, what do you ask is this? <laughs> Right? What is this? I understand that, uh, you know, twin flames are challenging and um, they're going to push you. You know what I mean? Um, push you into your shadow. Shine a light on your shadows, 1000%. But this aspect, and you know what it gets me? It's the runner chaser aspect. Bruh. So I tweeted uh, at one point, probably like back. Actually, not probably. Back in August, I tweeted, I said, uh, I believe in twin flames and I've even met my own. True to twin flame form, he freaked out once he realized that I could see all of him, shadows included, and loved him anyway. And he ran away. Runner slash chaser, right? I quote unquote chased him in the form of text messages and voice notes for about a week. I sent him one last voice note after a month, about a month after that, then I decided to let his ass run because F all that chasing shit, that is toxic. That, the chasing, the chasing, the ch that is toxic in and of itself, right? 
I say all that to say this. Be very careful with the twin flame shit because it can keep you in a real unhealthy cycle. And more than that, some of y'all are in hella toxic and or abusive situations, believing that it's your twin flame and continuing to chase them as a result. I can assure you that that ain't it. Your twin flame won't be an abusive piece of shit. They will definitely come with deep shadows that they have yet to confront and will be freaked out by the fact that you're able to see them and shine a light on them, hence why they'll run. But they won't be abusive. They won't treat you like shit. Matter of fact, the primary reason why they run is because they don't want to fuck around and swallow you in the shadows that they already that they aren't ready to work through yet. So, just be very mindful of all the twin flame, twin flame crap that is out there. That is all. So, I know that, um, for example, um, my twin, we, we are not together, by the way, um, but my twin was but it was a beautiful experience i can't even like prop it was it was a beautiful beautiful experience one that i i I didn't know if i would ever experience in my life um and uh yeah he 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 ran because he wasn't trying to hurt me up with his crap right and he wasn't ready to confront his own shadows people got to be ready i think people have to be ready to do their work people have to be ready to see themselves for who they truly are people have to be ready for all that stuff um it doesn't matter how much of a light that you shine on it you know if they ain't ready all they're gonna do is crawl back wherever they came from right crawl back into the crevices of wherever they came from because they're not ready um somebody had commented under this post because i because i had posted it afterwards on uh, my other ig page but somebody commented she said, the mainstream teachings of twin flames is toxic and has made me think twice about perpetuating what is being taught. It promotes keeping people at a low level vibration to miss out on your true abundance. A true twin, I call them divine male slash female, will push you in ways that is mind blowing. Your abundance will flow freely when it's truly divine in nature. And I, I, I really love that she said that because um, I think... I think that I think it was beautifully said. Um, I think it was absolutely beautifully said. So many people are are in these, or th- I don't know, man, these these abusive relationships that they're calling twin flames. And here's the thing: in mine and uh, a few other people that I have met who have, uh, you know, encountered their twin flames. Um, I literally, I definitely became a better person, man. You know, um, he was a, a really great mirror for the version of myself that I was when I with him, when I was with him, um, and he mirrored both my the amazing qualities of me and my not so great qual right my shadow and my light right, um, and the shadow parts of me, he calmly very calmly where and it's so it's such an interesting dynamic because um he would calmly check me (laughs) does that make sense very gently uh be like hey let's talk about this that and the third let's talk about the way you're behaving right now let's talk about the reason why you just did that let's talk about the reason why you just said that let's talk about the reason why you just behaved like that uh super calm and super gentle with it no yelling, never any verbal abuse, never any tap, n- just n- none of that, right? None, none of that, um, which is what made it so beautiful because I was learning about, with his help, about my shadows um, and working on them in such a beautiful way, in such a, a, a loving way, man just a loving way right um and and i would do the same for him of course 
Uh, but the interesting thing about it is that he wasn't ready um, when, I guess, push came to shove. He wasn't ready to, 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 to see all of him the way that I saw all of him because I saw right through him from the very beginning. I saw all of him. And like I said, I loved him anyway. And he saw all of me and loved me anyway, but he just couldn't take it when I showed him, when I mirrored him back to him, right? So I just want y'all to be very, very careful of um, what's going on in these streets, man, in these, in these YouTube streets, uh, in these IG streets. Just be, be mindful of what you're being fed because... it's just like sis said you know it's keeping people at a very low vibrational state um love isn't that stressful you i don't i I don't care how many shadows you have i don't care (laughs) i don't care how many shadows you have i don't i don't care how deep they go love at the end of the day the stuff that y'all are out here calling love man that's not it that's not it the way that the, these thesis papers under these in these comment sections are being written out, love don't hurt like that. Love isn't wicked like that. Love isn't cruel like that. It's not. It's really not. But I think that people believe so much that that's what it is because the environments you everything it, it revolves around a lot of times the environments you grew up in and how you were raised and what you saw and all this stuff, right? Um, this is why inner work is so important, right? This is why unlearning a lot of stuff is really important. But because of that, people really believe that like struggle love is love, that abuse is love, that uh, verbal attacks is love. This, this is not love, man. A lot of people believe love is supposed to be so hard. Why? You know why? Because that's what you grow up seeing for yourself by people, by your elders who didn't know what love was either. Right. I have experienced love in a in a in a purest form. I used to think that um, love was hard too. I used to think that love was really hard. I used to just like so many people out there. I used to. I am no different. <laughs> right. I used to be the same. I used to think that love was so hard. That love was supposed to be filled with drama and ups, like hella ups and. And, and long time downs and chaos and, and all this pain and tears and and then I I experienced a, the purest love ever that was when I gave it to myself first right I gave it to myself first. I unlocked it within myself first, and then I got to experience it with somebody else. And love is not that hard. It's not. Our relationships uh, work. Yeah, relationships take work. You know, relationships take effort. But not as it's not that hard. Love is not that hard, man. So. I guess I just wanted to say this evening, right, to just be careful. And I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Please reevaluate. It's such an important thing to do. Please reevaluate the things and the shit that you're calling love so that you don't end up holding on to this twin flame label, thinking that somebody running away from you all the time (laughs) because because it's usually always, if you if you really pay attention to all these stories and you really go through them, usually it's always the man running away from the woman, right? So you you don't think that these men, const- this man constantly running away from you and you constantly have to chase him, constantly have to chase him and him running and him chasing and him running and you're chasing is normal and that that's love. You don't got to chase anything that's meant to be with you. And meant to stay with you. You don't have to chase anything that wants to be in your life. You don't have to chase anything that is for you. Period. So. 
That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> Be very careful with all this twin flame stuff. All right? That's all I got for y'all tonight. <laughs> I hope that um, if anything, you know, as I always say, if nothing else, just food for thought, man. You know, food for thought, finish your plate. And uh, that's it. <laughs> all right? I hope that you ladies have a good rest of your mornings, evenings, afternoons, wherever the you are in the world. Please be safe. Use condoms. And uh, I will catch you on the next episode. All right? Much love, y'all.